There's my partner, Alan Mash. The end, man, the end. Yeah. I just found a nugget. I sh we should show it to him. In my jet flare. Well, he's getting his nugget out that he found as he took apart his jet. I'll tell you a little bit about what we're going to do to cross the river with his dredge and then pull it way up there. We're going to try an experiment by hooking a bit of extra hose to the coupler on his high pressure hose which you see going off the pump up there. Normally it goes into the jet and pushes water back through our, our sluice box. But we're going to try and attach this to the side of the dredge underwater like that to add some propulsion to help us maneuver and push this monster upstream. And we'll kind of keep up with that along the way. Show them your nugget man. Look at that. Ah, that is a nuggy. And there's some fines in here too from the jet flare being pulled out and I scraped a little bit with my hand and there it was. Just like that, the river still wants to reward us. <laughs> still paying, baby, still paying. I'll take it. Extra 20 bucks we make today. Yeah, so we're gonna rig it up for transit. Push across, the current's still pretty pushy. Here, let me, let me show what That's a high pressure hose, high pressure hose coming right off the pump. Put the, uh, it's got a cam lock coupler on it. We're going to strap it to the side here like that. Plug one in. And hopefully it'll be... So we're going we're gonna to add that to the high pressure hose to give it a little reduction and so we... something that won't destroy the cam lock under yeah. unrestrained so we'll, pressure. We'll strap it to the pontoon and hopefully it'll just maintain stability in the water so we can get across the, the current went up six seven hundred feet per second Wait, 800 maybe. it almost felt easier to cross today for me though Did it really yep maybe because uh, you weren't dredging <laughs> probably because i was looking dredging. forward to not having to do it ever again right. ever what do you mean ever this week yeah. next <laughs> season time. don't be saying that ever shit yeah yeah there you go hookers up you done with video all right we're gonna turn off video and get to work yep. all right this is the rig there's our two high pressure lines coming right back around to a short section of pressure hose, angled down a little bit to keep it underwater, aimed backward. So when the water shoots out of it, it's gonna thrust this whole dredge unit forward. We just did a little test and it's working quite nicely. So gotta fire it up a little bit and uh, sort of try and get a quick video of it. Self-propelled dredge. We're gonna go all the way over there. Yeah, because we're gonna have to cross against the current. This will help us hold our position. There's our buddy over there on the floor, right? Yeah, there. there's our buddy over there, Jim Yerby. Alright. Successful test. Now the trick will be to maneuver it in the current with the extra thrust not let it get away.
September the 2nd, 2014. Alan Nash and Chris Handyguard working their way across the Rogue River to get the Chris's dredge. This is how real men do it. September the 2nd. 2014, Rogue River Gold Hill. Alan Mash and Chris Handicard pulling their dredge off the river at the end of the season. Boys make it look easy. And here they come into the home stretch. Alan Mash and Chris Handygarden. Say hi to the world, guys. Oh my God, it looks like Swamp Thing. Big Allen Mash. Uh, Bigfoot's making his way through the brush. Oh my God, it's Bigfoot! 